911, please fire rescue. I have a disabled child who ran away from my home. The autistic child? Yes. Okay. She just did. The officer, ma'am, calm down. Where is she at? Patrol in the 21st century is very diverse duty. People with autism are part of that diversity. So I have to say, you're not getting in. Autism is America's fastest growing developmental disability. Come on. Autistic people do things differently than normal people. And once you learn to recognize most kids that are five and a half years old, you ask them for their name, they'll be able to tell you their name. Or you ask them their phone number, they can probably say their phone number too. But no one can. See the monkey? Yes. My turn, my turn. Eight year old Brandy likes to play with her sister, likes playing with her rabbit, and likes to have fun on the computer. She also likes to run away. Woke up Wednesday morning at about seven o'clock in the morning. I don't want to try rescue. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, there is an egg, an egg occur in, in my backyard. We don't know where she comes from. You know how old she is? I don't know where she goes. Man, listen. Huh? She's running in the backyard. Of the, every they have been going through training so that they understood that she has autism, that she does run and they were very helpful. They would help us by flagging our address and phone number in the computer, by putting into the computer that we have a child with autism. It would automatically come up that we have an autistic child in the home. So I have to say, you're not getting this or you're getting that. Christina is nonverbal. No, we're not going to do any work. She uses pictures to communicate her basic needs. OK, you want to, let's go. Today, she wants to go to the store. At the store, Christina has trouble selecting what she wants. Come on, don't open them until I pay for them. She makes her choice. Oh, yeah. They may assume that he's on some type of drugs, and he will flip people around because he is that strong, where you could grab him, and next thing you know, you may be on the ground, and they may pull their weapons. The person may not recognize your uniform or marked vehicle or understand what is expected of them if they do. Where are you going? Come here. We always know that when we go hands-on with somebody, it's a dangerous situation. We know that there's at least one firearm involved in the situation. Is the one. Be alert to sensory overload. Your sirens and lights may cause further anxiety and increase a negative reaction from the child or adult who has autism. Why don't we come over here? Come on over here, honey, with me, and let's get into a quieter area, okay? Come on. Come walk with me. It's okay. And when we know this, that it's not going to be a violent situation, we know that they don't have... People with autism may have underdeveloped trunk muscles don't and may not be it. able What's to support the their airway. Are you running? Avoid positional What's asphyxia. Name? What's your name? Brad. All right, Brad, I'm going to read you some Miranda warnings. I want you to pay attention to me. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes. Does he really understand his Miranda rights? Here are four people with autism being asked about their constitutional rights. Do you waive your right to remain silent? Yes. Do you know you have a constitutional right to not be questioned? <laughs> yes. Do you waive that right? No. You don't waive that right? Yes. Do not take a lack of eye contact, the changing of subjects, or answers that are vague, evasive, or blunt. Shit, what are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't know either. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Come on, man. Hey, Brad. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what's, what's going on, man? You remember us? Sure, I do. A lot of times, law enforcement officers will show up at a scene, and if they don't have the the training to re to recognize autism. They may think that the person is either number one on drugs